It's being called the Great Recession, and while we relegate financial worries to the world of adults, it's easy to forget the tremendous impact these uncertain times can have on our kids. Joining us today to help navigate through this tough talk is Webb Egerton, life coach and clinical psychologist, who says that when it comes to finances, it's a family affair. Webb, it's, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And let me start out by saying that 95% of American families have reported an economic downturn. And children are hearing bits and pieces of what's going on in the house, and they're scared and confused. So the first thing you want to do with your children is explain what is the economy. And you can bring it down to a very simple term so that they can understand. The economy is how much money people have or don't have, just very simply. So, Webb, what age is it all okay to start talking about the economy? How young can you start? I think start? you can start as young as three years old when they can really have a concept of what the economy is. Of course, you want to make it very simple. And something that is very important is you, when children are hearing these things, you really want to reassure your children mm -hmm that everything's okay, whether you're in a terrible economic spiral out of control, whether you're losing your house, you've been laid off, and you don't know your own economic future, <laughs> it's very important because children want to hear that mommy and daddy are going to take care of them and that everything's okay. Even if you're going to a shelter, uh, you want to tell them we're all here together and everything's okay. So share with them some of the economic reality, but don't necessarily share with them some of your own fear. You may very well be fearful, but don't let them see all of right. that. Right. You don't want to dump your own economic fear on them. And mm -hmm. again, this is another great thing to remember. You want to remember yourself as a parent. This is only temporary. It might seem like a long time. But it is only temporary, and you want to start living in a prosperous way and being grateful for what you do have, not for what you don't have. So as a parent, I'm the mother of two kids myself, we always want to give them everything they ask for. Obviously yes. in these times, well, it's never a good idea anyway, <laughs> but obviously in these times we just right. can't. Right. How do you deal with that moment at the store when they say, Mommy, please, can I have this? That's a great question. What I like to do and what I recommend for people to do is to talk about the word uh, economize and you can say you know what we're economizing let's think about that later and actually what you're doing is you're also helping your children have impulse control because if it's something really important they will remember and then you can talk about if you can afford it or not and it also if you make an economic plan with your family is you know let you're going to empower them for how they can learn to do things differently and where they're in charge, where not every movie you're going to see, where it's important and they can feel grateful for what they do see. So for have. slightly older children, let's say teenagers, mm -hmm. you can let them in on that family round table, around the kitchen table, and let them actually see the figures in the family budget, or is that going too far? I would say that depends on the child, okay. and, and it really depends on the maturity level. And again, if you're doing that as a parent, you want to empower them, because mm -hmm. they may feel helpless, like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And sometimes children blame themselves when it's not their fault. And how, how concerned have you seen children right now at this stage, your patients or your patients' children? I think children are very concerned. My own daughter said, Mommy, what is the economy? How come people don't have money right now? And I said, yeah, I just explained to her it's how much people have and don't have. And she said, are, are we in trouble? And I assured her that everything was fine and everything's going to be fine and we're going to get through this together and we just may not do as much as we used to do for a temporary time. And you said earlier also your daughter had noticed that a, a, a girl's father had been laid off, things yes, like that. Yes, right? and she was talking about that, and is she going to have to leave school? Are they going to have to move? What's going to happen? And I said, I don't know, but she's going to be fine. There may be huge changes in their lives, but it's all going to be okay because it's only temporary, and it might be scary and hard for them at first but it'll all be okay. And something else is really about empowering your children. I know something that I really have had my children do is we've gone through and cleaned out closets, and I recommend this for people who've been laid off work and don't know what to do. You can really go through and somebody who really might want that old drum set that you really want to get rid of in the attic, give it to somebody who really is needy and it helps the entire world. So you say even though you're going through tough times of your own, don't forget to be charitable. 
It's very important because there's always someone needier out there than you. And that can certainly help to put things into perspective. Oh, it definitely does. And, it, and we're all going to get through this. We're all in the same boat, so we're all going to get through and have a brighter future in the coming months and years. Absolutely. Webb, thank you so much for invaluable advice for all of those parents out there. Thank you and for thank having you me. thank you for watching. This is Good Morning America Health. We'll be right back.